During the first stage of the APS procedure, the extent of liver tumor is evaluated using intraoperative ultrasound. In this cartoon, we have tumors throughout the right liver, as well as in the left lateral segment. We begin by mobilizing the right and left side of the liver, followed by surgically excising the tumor from the future liver remnant. We then selectively ligate the portal veins that feed the remaining diseased liver. This is followed by parenchymal transection between the future liver remnant and the diseased part of the liver. Transecting the liver parenchyma prevents any collateral portal flow between the future liver remnant and the diseased liver. Here we see the end product of stage 1, the hepatic arterial flow as well as hepatic vein and biliary drainage of the deportalized hemiliver are preserved. This allows it to behave as an auxiliary liver during the one week interval, thus maintaining synthetic function and avoiding liver failure while the left lateral segment hypertrophies. We believe that the liver partitioning is responsible for the rapid hypertrophy that takes place over the one week interval. This hypertrophy is confirmed by CT imaging, and the second stage of the two-stage hepatectomy can be completed. The patient is taken back to the OR, and the diseased, deportalized part of the liver is removed by simple transection of the respective hepatic artery, hepatic duct, and hepatic veins. What we have left, when the operation is completed, is the healthy, hypertrophied left lateral segments.